Uber has become one of the most sought after car transporting business to get into, either as a full time salaried position or as a part time position. In today's video, I am going to talk to you about the five mistakes to avoid when using a LLC for your Uber business. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm the managing attorney here at Malai Law, where we help entrepreneurs just like you start your businesses without having to deal with the complicated legal forms. Our done-for-you service is backed by over 2,700 plus five-star Google reviews, and we can help you start your business too. The purpose of these videos are to provide you with as much guidance and clarity in the beginning stages of your business. So if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Before I start talking about the five mistakes to avoid when using an LLC as an Uber driver, I want to provide you with a little bit of background context. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, many people are turning to Uber as a full-time position job or they use Uber as a side hustle or some way to earn extra income. I wouldn't be surprised noting that the average salary that an Uber driver can make potentially, the national average is $30,000. And in addition to the potential $30,000 salary, as an Uber driver, you get that freedom, you get the ability to decide when you want to drive. As well as the market is always going to need drivers because there's always going to need people in need of rides. As an Uber driver, you expose yourself to many risks while on the road. The question you have to ask yourself is, are you doing everything in your power to protect yourself as well as your family? Well, the answer to that question brings me to the main point of today's video. Many Uber drivers are turning to LLCs to protect them from personal liability due to the fact that an LLC separates your business liabilities from your personal liabilities. If you want to learn more about the benefits of an LLC, make sure you check out our videos in our channel, but that's not the point of today's video. So now that you have that context, let's go ahead and talk about the five mistakes to avoid when using an LLC for your Uber business. The first mistake you're going to want to avoid when using an LLC for your Uber business, avoid driving prior to registering your LLC. As an Uber driver, you enter into what's called a 1099 agreement with Uber. A 1099 agreement is also known as an independent contractor. And as an independent contractor, it's likely that you are seen by the law as a sole proprietor. And if you're not familiar with what a sole proprietorship is, it's when you conduct business in any form without any sort of business entity, such as partnership, LLC, or corporation. So because you're operating as a sole proprietorship, when you drive Uber, you expose yourself to personal liability. If you plan to use an LLC when driving as an Uber driver, make sure you first register your LLC prior to driving. This brings me to the second mistake to avoid when using an LLC for your Uber business. And that is failing to contract under your LLC. And so what do I mean by this? As I mentioned previously in mistake number one, I mentioned how you're going to enter into a 1099 contract agreement with Uber. In other words, you will be an independent contractor, most likely a sole proprietor. After registering an LLC, it's very important to enter into that 1099 agreement with Uber under your LLC company name and not your personal name. Many people find themselves entering into that 1099 agreement under their personal name even though they had already registered an LLC. So make sure to enter into that 1099 independent contractor agreement under your registered LLC. That will ensure that your business liabilities are separate from your personal liabilities. 
This brings me to the third mistake to avoid when using your LLC for your Uber business. You're going to want to make sure that you file all the proper paperwork. Not only do you have to file all the proper paperwork in order to be compliant, but you also want to make sure that you fill in that paperwork with the correct information, such as what sort of service do you plan to provide. The paperwork consists of the articles of organization, the EIN number, the operating agreement, any sort of 1099 contract agreements that must be drafted and signed. You have to have the banking documentation in order to open a business bank account. All of these paperwork, all of these documents are required and one cannot be missing. Additionally, it's likely you'll need to also look into what's called a business license to operate in the specific county where you plan to provide your Uber services. Failure to submit even one of the forms, even one of the documents, failing to provide all the correct details may lead to not only issues during the application portion of the LLC as well as the application portion of becoming an Uber driver, but failure to take the right steps may also lead to additional hiccups and issues down the road and in the future. Now the fourth mistake you're going to want to avoid when using an LLC for your Uber business is failing to open a business bank account. Typically what happens is a lot of LLC owners don't think or don't believe they're required to open a business bank account. And so any payments that they receive, either payments from Uber or payments or tips from their clients, etc., all the fees, all the funds, all the payments get sent to their personal bank account. When you have an LLC, it's very important that all funds are separated, which means that your personal funds must be separated from your business funds. They can never commingle. And so once you register that LLC, once you begin entering into those 1099 agreements with Uber, make sure you open a US business bank account. Additionally, make sure you keep your personal expenses separate from your business expenses. And the fifth and final mistake to avoid when using an LLC for your Uber business is you're going to want to speak with a professional prior to registering or doing anything in regards to forming an LLC. It's important that you speak with a professional who's experienced with registering LLC specifically for individuals who are in the business of Uber. And so with that being said, if you happen to have any questions about anything that I talked about in today's video, if you want to learn more, make sure you click the link in the description box below to book your free call with a professional who can provide you with more clarity and guidance. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. It's time to invest in yourself. It's time to rise. If you would like to continue learning more about LLCs, businesses, online businesses, go ahead and watch one of these videos.